everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Geometry Common Core Regents. We're doing this one question at a time. Here's question 32. Quadrilateral NATS has coordinates N, negative 4, negative 3, A, 1, 2, T, 8, 1, and S, 3, negative 4. Prove quadrilateral NATS is a rhombus. So we're going to want to show that all sides are equal to each other. All sides are congruent and have the same distance. So first let's, first let's just graph this out with the coordinates they gave us. So we have n is equal to negative 4, negative 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. And we'll label this n. I'm just going to put the coordinate point also. a is 1, 2. T is 8, 1. And then lastly we have 3, negative 4 for S. So 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is S, 3, negative 4. So now we could just connect um, all our dots, all our points, and see if this looks like a rhombus. So now we need to show mathematically that all these sides are congruent to each other. So one way to do that is by using the distance formula. So the distance formula, when we take two points, will show us the distance between those two points. So if each side has the same distance, then that means this is going to be a rhombus. So, so that means we have to measure out each distance. So, so let's just take this first side here, AT. So AT, so, so we'll do that by taking the coordinates. A is 1, 2. T is 8, 1. And now we want to plug this into our formula. So this is just like side 1, right? So we're just plugging this into our formula. And when we do that, we'll get 8 minus 1 squared plus 1 minus 2 squared, and then this is all over a square root. So this gives us 7 squared plus negative 1 squared, which will give us 49 plus 1, which gives us radical 50. So we know that this side, AT, is equal to radical 50. So, okay, we don't know if all the sides are congruent yet, but we're, we're just getting started. So let's try another side. Let's go to TS, so this is the second side. So T is 8, 1. S is 3, negative 4 squared. 1 plus 4 squared. Okay, so I, I messed up the coordinate point. So this is supposed to be, S is in 3, negative 4, right? So this is 1 plus 4 which is going to give us 5 squared, which is 25 plus 25, which is radical 50. Yeah, so be careful. It's so easy to make minor mistakes like that. So always just keep checking your work as you go along. So we know that this side, TS, is also radical 50. Now we're, let's go to the next side, NS. So N is negative 4, negative 3, and S is 3, negative 4. Again, just doing the same thing, plugging these coordinates into this formula to see if we get radical 50. So notice we get 7 squared, which is 49, plus negative 1 squared, which is 1. So this will give us radical 50 again. So, so far this is looking good. It looks like all sides are congruent to each other. Now we just have that last side to check, uh, this side AN, where A is 1, 2, and N is negative 4, negative 3. So we get 5 squared, which is 25, plus 5 squared, which is 25. So 25 plus 25 is just 
radical 50 again. So, so this looks good. So we, so we proved all our sides are congruent. So we know this rhombus, this figure is a rhombus. Figure quadrilateral nets is rhombus. So we can also write this out. We could say all the sides are congruent by saying a T is congruent to TS, which is congruent to NS, which is congruent to NA. And that's our answer. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!